All right, folks, this is a pretty big announcement. So GitHub have introduced something called GitHub Copilot X. Now this is quite hot off the press and GitHub, if you don't know, GitHub Copilot is a coding assistant. It's a paid for coding assistant. It's about $120 a year that supposedly allows developers to code about 55% faster. Now I'm a paid up user of GitHub Copilot. I have been for a little while. I'm not sure if it makes me 55% faster, but it's definitely impressive and it's very, very powerful. But GitHub Copilot X is supposed to take that onto another level and the team at GitHub Next have been working on this and evolving GitHub Copilot into what I think is supposed to be some kind of fully blown virtual assistant. Now I don't have access to it yet. There's a wait list. I've signed up to the wait list and I highly recommend that you do too. I'll include the links in the description below so you can click something like this to join the wait list. Now fundamentally GitHub Copilot X, the big thing here is that it uses GPT-4, not GPT-3. And that's the model from OpenAI, the folks behind ChatGPT, which I'm sure everybody has heard of by now. Now Microsoft has a very deep connection with with OpenAI. So it's not really surprising that they got access to this for Bing and they got access to GPT-4 for powering Copilot X, which is, as I said, in preview at the moment. Now let's just look through this. You've got here an example of Copilot chat. So you can actually talk to it and say, write a set of unit test functions for the selected code in this example here. So I'll just zoom that out. So very much like what you do with chat GPT, but embedded inside Copilot and embedded inside your IDE. So if you use it from VS Code, you can just ask the question right in there. No need to go externally to chat GPT. And it's obviously going to be more targeted towards code. It's fully aware of your application. Whereas if you've used chat GPT, every time you want to do something in chat GPT, you have to go over to chat GPT, ask it whatever questions you want to ask it. It doesn't know anything about your context unless everything's already out there in, you know, pub for public consumption. So you can see immediately why this is so much more powerful. Let's just look through a few more of these things. Here you can see an example of where you might use it directly inside your pull request. Uh, you can even use it with your CLI. How ridiculous is that? So sometimes you don't remember what particular commands you need to use. You can just ask it directly in your IDE and get the prompt. So it's kind of fully integrated. At least that's the idea anyway. Now, when I selected the joining the waitlist tab, it asked me whether I want to use uh, Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio. It, you may be able to use it with JetBrains. It indicates here that it very soon will be, you will be able to use it, but with regards specifically to the chat, it did ask me about VS Code and Visual Studio Code, which is fine for me. I use multiple IDEs, so it's not such a big deal, but that's just something to be aware of. They mentioned some stats here. I'm not sure how much weight you can put on these things. It's best to just try these things out for yourself and see how you get on. You can find out more about GitHub next here. You can join the wait list up here by clicking this link, which I'll include in the description below. And let's just take a quick look at this video and then we'll come back to a blog post which talks more about this. So let's just have a look at this. Yeah, pretty swanky video. So you can see here it's explaining some regular expressions, which nobody understands. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes writing tests, unfortunately, despite all the efforts with TDD and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's quite handy to get some tests written. Yeah, good for learners, good for new developers who are getting into programming for the first time. <laughs> Nobody knows how to center a div even in 2023. There you have it, folks. All right, and this is the blog post which talks about Copilot X in a lot more detail. So we just scan through this very quickly. So there's some statistics here about Copilot, not Copilot X. And if we go a bit further on it, and it talks about the chat being integrated with your IDE, which is a really big deal. Won't click on the preview. It talks about Copilot for pull requests, which I mentioned already. Yeah, it talks about it warning whether you're missing sufficient tests for a pull request, kind of similar to how your code quality systems like Sonar and other things they do already. Um, let's have a look. AI generated answers about documentation. Yeah. And it's also the fact that this can apply to your internal repositories and your internal documentation, which is what's missing currently in the chat GPT workflow. It talks here about how it's powered by OpenAI's new GPT-4 model. And it talks about the CLI. So it's lots of good stuff here. I would highly recommend checking out some of these links, getting yourself on the wait list, because I think a lot of people are going to be talking about it and interested in using it. Obviously, you have to be careful if you're working for a commercial enterprise, they might not be keen on you using this for their internal code, so be careful. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether that's something that you'd pay for. I also, my gut feeling is that this is not going to be included for people who are paying currently for GitHub Copilot, like myself, we've paid for it. I think this product is not going to be included as part of that. This is going to be a separate thing, I think, which is going to be included in some kind of business subscription or maybe an added extra subscription that you have to buy if you've already bought GitHub Copilot. But I'm not sure about that. That's just at this point, just speculations. And if you don't want to miss out on the latest programming and tech industry news, make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you for watching.